I am Michelle B and you have reached date 29 of the 30 day simplify your life challenge. I can't believe it's already this far. Today we are easing out and setting you off to just continue along a journey towards a more simplified life. Your only job today is to pick two resources on minimalism or simplifying and setting aside some time in the future to actually devour those resources. Devour was a weird choice of words. If you aren't interested in purchasing books or movies or whatever after your big clean out, feel free to head on to the library, do a book swap, or just download them online. Some resources that I would recommend. Number one, of course, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. This was a book that was like my catalyst for change. Honestly, it has been so impactful on just how I live my life and my stuff and the things that I own. Like, my life looks so different from what it did a year ago before I read that book. I was talking to my partner about this the other day, like far out the amount of stuff that I owned is just ridiculous. Um, the amount of stuff that I bought was ridiculous. Anyways, I won't go into that. I've talked about it a lot before. I'll actually link a video in the description below that talks about like my, what I learned from the life-changing magic of tidying up if you want to have a look at that. My second book is The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck. I already talked about this book in our Decide What You Do and Don't Care About day. It is a really good resource. Not necessarily, like it doesn't advertise itself as a minimalism kind of book, but you can get some really good tidbits out of it. They do relate back to simplified living and just living slowly and deciding on what your priorities are and concentrating on those. Another book is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Now, I haven't actually read this book, but I've heard it has a really similar premise to The Life-Changing Magic of Not Giving a Fuck. So, I mean, take your pick. I think The Subtle Art has more reviews than The Life-Changing Magic, if that helps at all, but maybe just have a look at the reviews and decide which one you would prefer if you want to go for either of those resources. Next up, the documentary, Minimalism, a documentary about the important things. This might still be on Netflix, depending on when you're reading this, it was on the Australian Netflix probably a few weeks ago now, maybe a month ago. I would call this documentary inspiring and not necessarily actionable. And the guys in it, I don't know, I have some thoughts and feelings. I do appreciate their points of view, but I don't know, I find them kind of pretentious and that's coming from me and I feel like I can come across as a very pretentious person. Anyways, it is a really inspiring documentary. I watched it, my mom watched it it and it had an impact on my mom as well so it can just be a good one to sort of like get you back into the zone if you're lacking more the motivation and inspiration type of stuff. Another book is You Are a Badass by Jen Sincero. I loved this book. It was great. It's got a bit of tough love in it so some people might not appreciate it. It's kind of a bit too tough at times. It isn't focused on a minimalism necessarily but it is focused on the mental clutter side of things. It sort of inspired to identify your negative thoughts day in this challenge so if you're interested in that side of stuff as well as like manifesting it's a little bit woo woo but it is a really good read. A blog that I would recommend is James Clear. I've talked about James Clear quite a bit and linked to him quite a bit. He has a bunch of stuff and he does focus on minimalism a little bit so I'll leave that link in the description down below. The next resource that I would recommend is Becoming Minimalist. Becoming Minimalist is a blog by Joshua Becker. I don't even know, is he in line with the guys that did the Minimalist movies? I'm not really sure. Anyways, I really love this blog regardless. His thoughts on simplifying and minimizing and not just decluttering because decluttering is just such a small part of it that I think gets emphasized a lot, but just not living minimally in general and not wanting things, not feeling this unnecessary desire to like consume, uh, that's really what he con concentrates on on his blog and I really like that take on it. And next up, The Minimalist Podcast. This is by those same two guys that did The Minimalist documentary. I listened to some of these podcasts quite a while ago. Um, they weren't my style, but I know a lot of you guys enjoy them. It's definitely a podcast that is filled with like a lot of inspiration and a lot of wisdom. These guys have been at it for quite a while, so they do know what they're talking about. So I thought I would chuck them out there. You might like them. Let me know if it's, it's a podcast that you've enjoyed in the comments down below. In the interest of simplicity and just avoiding that information overwhelm, I would recommend only picking the two resources but you're welcome to do whatever you want if you have any resources that you would recommend 100% chuck them in the comments down below I want to see them I'm sure other people watching this will want to see them finish today up by celebrating yourself as always tomorrow is gonna be a little bit of a like finalizing just like a recap it's all very exciting I appreciate you so much subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow me on Instagram do all of this stuff and I will see you soon